Here we you go. know what pisses me off? World hunger, holy wars, politics, ugly women in politics, Madeline Albright, Janet Reno, pigs. You know what else pisses me off? Women with semen stained dresses. Monica Lewinsky. Semen stained dresses. More pigs. That really pisses me off. Hillary Clinton, stand by your man. You really pisses me off. Jeff. <laughs> When you were cutting your teeth, making the towns, trying to break in, yeah, sitting under your dad's learning tree, learning from Teeny, your grandmother, that's Christine Jarrett. Mm -hmm. Did you ever, in all your wildest dreams, imagine that you would be on one of the highest rated programs on cable television, cutting promos yeah. about semen stained dresses? Conrad, I just heard those uh, in the last week. I've, 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 I got to catch up, I'll say, on that content. I don't believe that I've said semen stained dresses since before that or since that. And do you know who you can thank for that? Do you know who the producer of those don't piss me off vignettes are? Is that Bruce Pritchard? Nope. <laughs> That's it. That's a good guess. That's funny. I'm just saying, I know Bruce loves semen. Uh, what, 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 who was it? The, the exact same producer that produced with my baby tonight at Manny's car wash. You've also interviewed him here uh, on ad free shows. None other. Oh, wow. David, okay. David Zahadi produced those. Zahadi, so, Zahadi wanted you to say semen. That did that is that's all did, so, did he did he think that would be a word you guys would bleep and post and then you found out after the fact you didn't have to i have no idea i have because i talked about baseball and the yankees and something else i mean we did i don't know five six seven eight of those four or five i don't know that because they were just like some of them were like 30 to 45 seconds that we were just going to bounce in there to, to kind of reinforce the don't piss me off. And then that's when it took a left turn and you can't say pitch, you got to say tick off and everything went south on that. But yes, hey, thank your boy, David Zahadi for that. There was a huge contingent of America. I mean, a large portion of America who, who, who wanted Hillary to not stand by her man. I mean, there was a big debate about what should Hillary do. And, and, you know, um, there were some strong feelings. So to a certain section of the audience, what you're saying there was going to make you a baby face. And like, as a rule, I thought in wrestling, we tried as much as we could to steer away from politics and you're just diving right in there. So Conrad, this is a uh, BS big way, big time. I never used to, I did not told you that that my grandmother said stay away from from uh religion and politics yeah. didn't stay away from from my, my 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 relationship with the lord but i definitely stayed away from politics didn't watch it i had no context on any of that like none of it zero uh and that's not an excuse that's just kind of a reality as you say it now if i had to, to you know now it just kind of understanding but um that there's two sides to that but um it, it's in a lot of ways. Think about the t just the attitude era with all the different characters, and you got a guy talking about that situation on Monday Night Raw. You know, Hy it, hypothetically, do you think we'll see another semen angle in wrestling? I don't think so, pal. Uh, I don't think uh, my, my gut tells me no. What do you think? I'm I'm hoping since your office, you could work on something. <laughs> maybe you could send a little side text to will washington and we could get a semen angle going <laughs> what stop it stop it